Hi, I'm Erin Schmalfeld and this is Hot Pepper Game Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing Grand Theft Auto V by Rockstar Games for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. But first, I'm going to eat the Scotch Bonnet Pepper. This is the latest edition of Grand Theft Auto, and in my opinion, it is the biggest and the best. I've been playing since release day, I've even been coming home on my lunch breaks, and I don't even feel like I'm halfway done. This game is amazing. You switch between three characters, um, and they're all so diverse in their personalities and abilities. Oh my god, there's Michael, and... He's a washed up career criminal. There's Franklin, and he is an up and coming dude from the streets, just trying to make his way in the world. And there's, uh, there's Trevor. <laughs> Trevor's a meth head, and he's psychotic. All of their storylines are interweaving, and you're playing through all of them, and it's so fun. I know you're really invested in all of them. I'm even rooting for Trevor. And he's the worst. Um, it's a sandbox game. And the world is huge. And it's so complete. I live in Los Angeles. And Los Santos is a dead ringer for LA. There are all of these small communities within the city. And they just nail each and every single one of them. Um, you can do anything in this game. You can be anything in this game. You can do yoga on a mountain. Oh, I'm crying. You can do yoga on a mountain. You can ATV through a desert. You can drive a chopper into a wind farm and watch it explode. You can even get eaten by a shark. This is so different. Oh my god. Heist mode is so good. It's so freaking good. You set everything up. And it plays out the way you want it to. You pick the people, you pick the scenario. I am normally a rule follower. So it is really fun to break the rules and have that pay off for you. The controls are, there's maybe a kitty there. I don't know if you can see. She's adorable. She, don't get my milk. Don't, it's mine. The controls are a little iffy sometimes. No, no, just because, no, oh no. The controls are a little iffy sometimes. Just because you're doing so much in the game. Oh, and you end up using the D-pad sometimes. Which feels kind of weird because you're using it for action stuff. Oh, man. I'm so mad at this cat right now. Um, oh, that was disgusting. Also, the frame rate is a little bit crappy when you're going from underwater to above water. Overall, it's one of the best games I've ever played. I can't stop. Like, I really can't. Hot Pepper Gaming gives this game five out of five hot peppers. Easy. And I give this Scotch Bonnet Pepper five out of five hot peppers. I want that milk so bad, and this cat's just been drinking it, and I don't know what to do. Ugh! Please like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more Hot Pepper Game Reviews. We're having a lot of fun doing this, you guys. Uh, I would like to also personally thank the Jamaican food cart down the street from my house that generously donated this amazing Scotch Bonnet Pepper. I would also like to personally apologize to Dr. Rebecca Slomovic, my loving gastroenterologist who has dealt with my stomach issues this past year, who doesn't know I'm doing this. Um, this is Michael. She's normally a very good kitty, but she really, really upset me this evening. And she would like you to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more Hot Pepper Game Reviews. <laughs>